Hi, everyone. This is Xiaodong. Welcome to my talk. And really happy to have this opportunity to share something with you today and to learn from your potential questions and the discussion later. The topic of this talk is to create your custom secrets backend for Airflow. Uh, first, a little bit about myself. I started my journey with Airflow in 2018, and I was uh, like very lucky to have the opportunity to work with the fantastic folks uh, in the community since then, and even luckier to be given the opportunity to serve as Airflow's committer and PMC member. Uh, currently, I'm working at IPO's uh, ACS data pipeline team. <clears throat> From this talk, I hope the Airflow users can better understand how Airflow's secrets backend are working internally and how to use the custom secrets backend feature. I also hope uh, it can help the folks who are interested to contribute to Airflow on board some part of the code base. So we have four main sub, uh, subtopics. The built-in backends we have in Apache Airflow, the precedence among the different secrets backends, and uh, the custom secrets backend feature, and uh, like, like how we can configure them, and uh, how, what are the main interfaces you should consider. Eventually, I will try to give some examples so you have sort of ideas what we can do with the custom secrets backend. Before we start to dive deeper into the real stuff, please note all the code analysis and demo are all based on the Airflow version 2.1.0. <clears throat> so there are two uh, main built-in secrets backends in Airflow. Then if you use Airflow, I believe you use them, uh, either one or two of them. Uh, first one is environment variable backend, which reads the information from the environment variables, and the meta store backend, which reads the information from Airflow's metadata database. These backends, including the custom backends you may want to develop, all have a few essential interfaces or methods, including get connection UI, get connection, and get variable. A question will follow immediately. What's the precedence among these secrets backends? Given we have a few backends, like what is the priority, higher or lower among them? In the built-in backends, environment variable backend has higher priority than meta store backend. So this means if you have connections with the same name specified in both backends, the one specified in environment variable uh, backend will be used. However, if you have configured a custom secrets backend, it will always have higher, prior, higher priority than both built-in backends. Another question is where and how the precedence is decided. We have a function called initialize secrets backends uh, in Airflow's configuration module, which returns a list of secrets backends. Depending on if you have configured a custom secrets backend or not, the length of the list can be two or three. If we have configured a custom secrets backend, the length will be three. And the custom backend will always be the first element in the list. When the downstream code invokes this function and get the list of the backends, the list will be traversed and returned when a connection or variable can be found using that secrets backend. This is how the precedence is decided. I have one example here. Here I have three backends and some connections defined in each of them. And some of the connections have the same name. For example, connection one and uh, connection two. They exist in multiple backends. When I need connection one, it will check the custom backend first, find it, and return immediately. It will not check other backends anymore. When I need connection two, it still checks the custom backend first, but it cannot find it. Then it will go to the second backend, find it, and return. The same for connection three. The first two backends will always be tried until it's found in the third backend. If the connection name I'm looking for does not exist at all in any backend, the exception will be raised to let me know that. So now let's get to more details about custom secrets backend. There are two fundamental questions to answer, uh, like for whoever like want to use this custom secrets backend feature. The first one is how we can write a custom secrets backend. Like, of course, we need to write a class, but how it will look like. Then how should we configure that? OK, so now let's start the demo and uh, get our hands dirty. I will switch my screen and uh, Okay, 
so now let's start the demo one second please okay so i have prepared some codes and uh firstly this is a very basic secret backend like custom one i have written so of course we import the parent class which is best uh secrets backend from airflow.secrets then I have two dictionary here, and it's just my mock data store. I store some data here, and I define class whose parent class is best uh, secrets backend. And I define two uh, methods, get variable and get connection UI. As I mentioned just now, there are two uh, of the like essential methods of the secrets backend that we want to write. And people may have the question, okay, how about another one, which is get connection? It's fine because if we check the code, you see we have a few get connection UI and get connection. And uh, by default, if we do not do other change in the get connection method, what it will do is it will go to check from get connection UI and uh, do the job. So here you just need to define either get connection UI or get connection. You don't have to have both. So this is just my very basic secrets backend for this demo. And uh, so now we already have this, uh, let's say, backend ready. And it's just a Python file. And uh, you need to make sure it can be loaded by your Python, by your Airflow. So some people may say, OK, I will just put it in my Python path. Then it can be loaded by Python and Airflow. But it may not be that straightforward. So the easier <clears throat> and more proper way to me is to package your custom secrets backend, like how you create a normal Python package. So it can be installed using pip commands and can always be loaded properly. And it's much easier when it comes to debugging. So what I did was, OK, I just create a very simple Python package with a proper setup.py file, my name, and uh, all the other things, just like how you create a simple Python package. And this is just like a structure, and my, I have my class here. I have another class uh, here, but it's for the later part of the demo. This is just my secrets backend. And you can see it's very easy, very straightforward. Here, I just have my mock data store. Like for your use case, you can just get this data or information from whichever source you want. And uh, then I will just go to my Docker file. I created a Docker image to run my Airflow. Firstly, I just install everything I need for Airflow, then copy everything to my working directory. And you can see I am using pip to install my custom secrets backend. So now I'm very sure and confident it can be loaded by my Airflow instance. And uh, now I go to my Docker Compose file. This is how I start my uh, very simple and small Airflow instance locally. I have my Postgres database, and I have an Airflow instance here. And uh, I'm just uh, using local executor and uh, just a basic configuration. And in the commands, I've done a few things here. And uh, let me go through. First, of course, I try to elite the database. And I create a user so I can go, to, uh, go into the UI. And here, I set a variable whose key is city. And the value is Basel, which is a city which I'm living in now. Then I add a connection whose name is open secret. And uh, I use the UI to specify that. You can see the protocol, username, password, host, port, and schema. And please note the port, 8888. This will be used uh, for the demo purpose. Then I start my web server, start my scheduler. But just a reminder, don't use this to run your, like, your uh, Airflow in production. This is just a very simple uh, process to start a small instance to run the demo itself. OK, so I have already started the service and uh, yeah this is my airflow instance running now and i have two decks now let's just go to the first one deck demo and i show the code to you uh here i am using the new task flow feature uh, in airflow i created my deck and uh, i have two tasks the first task is try to get the connection whose name is open secret and return the port Another one is trying to get variable whose key is city, then just return. So let's try to run that. OK, they are done. And let's see, connection. 
It's telling me, okay, I get a port, double eight, double eight. Does not surprise me, which is correct. And uh, now if I go to another one and uh, get it, it will say, hey, the return value is Basel, which is also correct. They are just the ones I have specified just now. Where are they? Now they are in a meta store backend. They are in our Airflow's metadata database, for example, if I check variable, city, Basel, and also connection, I go to check. Open secret, uh, here it is, and port is double eight, double eight. So this is just the most vanilla case. I am not using my custom secret backend yet. I am not doing that yet. So what do I need to do? Which means now we already have our Airflow instance running. We already have our custom secrets backend installed in the environment. So we have already finished our first question, but how about the second one? How do we configure? So if we go to Airflow's con configuration file, there is a section called secrets. See, secrets, this is a secret section and there is an item called backend. We need to specify this. We need to tell it, okay, the full class name of our secrets backend so we can use it and Airflow know, okay, what custom backend I need to load. So what do we need to do now is I will just add one more environment variable in my Docker Compose file. This is like uh, how you can do the configuration. Instead of changing your configuration file, you can also use environment variable to do the configuration like what I have done just now for other configurations. So you see now I'm using my own package, demo secrets backend dot basic demo secrets backend. This is a class name. Okay, so what I will do now is I will uh, stop my earlier instance and restart that using the latest configuration. So what should I expect now? Because now I'm using my custom secrets backend and uh, I will still run the same DAG. I will still run the same DAG. And if you check my own secret backend, you can see in my data, the city is Shehong. Okay, so this is a unknown city. It's my hometown back in China. And uh, I have another connection here, but the name is also open secret, the same as what I have specified in the meta store. But this time the port is double six, double six. So now it's the time to validate because now we have already changed the configuration and uh, we should see something different this time. So I will trigger the DAG again. And now let's see the port instead of double eight, double eight, we should see double six, double six, which is correct. And if we check variable, Let's see what is happening. Instead of Basel, it's telling me Sehong. So yeah, it's working correctly and it's getting the information from our custom backend instead of the meta store backend. You see in meta store backend, it's still Basel, the older value. So this is how the custom uh, secrets backend work and uh, how you should configure that. It's very straightforward and very simple. And now let's come back to my slides. Give me one second. <clears throat> okay, so what can we do? Because the whole thing, what I showed you just now is just very simple, very straightforward. But then you would have the question, okay, what can we do? Firstly, you can use it to adopt it, to, uh, to adopt that to your preferred stack. For example, instead of rating, uh, reading the information from environment variable or meta store, uh, metadata database of Airflow, you can just uh, like get the data from whichever source. For example, you may have an internal file system in your company which stores the secrets, or maybe your company already has an internal secrets API. So you can just develop, uh, let's say, custom secrets backend to read the secrets from that secret service API. And uh, you can even consolidate secrets information from multiple sources, then expose them to your Airflow DAX with a single unified secrets backend. In addition, you have the flexibility to add the like your own very specific logic. Here I have one example. What if I want only DAX with owner blah, blah, blah can access variable ABC and all other DAX are just not a lot to read them. So I also have uh, like a DAG, uh, like a backend for that. So now let's get back to the quotes and we should be able to see that. I have another 
like plus specified here. It's the same, actually, it's the same as uh, earlier secrets backend I have showed you just now. But this time I do a owner check. So before I return the variable or connection, I will say, hey, I want to check the owner. So I get the current execution context of the DAG run, and I will check the DAG's owner and see if it is XD dash then. If not, I will say, no, you cannot read that. So now let's see what happens. So I will stop this and uh, change my configuration again. So you'll see it's very easy. Now it's very easy to change the configuration. Now I come here, change the full identifier of the class that I want to use. I change it to something else, owner specific secret backend, which is the one I've showed you just now, which is this one. So now we check the owner. So I have another DAG. Okay, now it's starting. I have another DAG which is identical to the DAG I have showed you just now, but only with one difference, which is the owner of the DAG. Let's see what is happening. Yeah. Okay, now let's go into the environment and about the second DAG. Second DAG is just the same as the first DAG, but this time we have a different owner. The owner is another person. And I will enable this DAG and run that. So it will not be able to read the secrets from my custom backend. You see, custom secrets backend say, I have a like print here. And the custom secrets backend say, condition not met, returning now, proceeding to built in backends. So it's telling me double eight, double eight, instead of double six, double six in my custom backend. It's getting the information from meta store backends instead. And uh, if I go to variable, you can see it's getting the information Basel instead of the SATA information in my custom backend. But the earlier deck, the first deck can still work correctly because its owner is myself, xd dash dumb. And if I trigger that again, it should still work the same way as how it worked just now. The port should be double six, double six, and uh, the SATA should be so home instead of puzzle. So that is how it works and uh, what you can do with uh, custom secrets backend. Of course, what I have showed here is just very, very simple. And uh, it's not really using, making use of the full power of the custom secrets backend, but I hope you get the idea and possibly you can just try to do something for your own use cases. So now let's get back to my slides and uh, I will just, so let's wrap up. I hope there can be two like takeaways uh, for the audience today. Uh, firstly, is how the secrets backend works, especially like how the precedence is working among all the secrets backend. And second is how you can create a custom secrets backend for your own very specific use case. As I have showed just now, it's really very simple. And uh, you just need to make full use of your imagination and uh, make yourself creative to make the full power, to make use of the full power of this feature. And I hope this talk is helpful for your Airflow journey and uh, kudos to the Airflow community. I have learned a lot from this community and really looking forward to share more and learn more uh, from this fantastic community. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's the, all the contents of this talk.